This is Alex Chu coming at you with another episode. This episode, um, I want to talk about a dream. A dream that I got, you know, which proves that Biden is the last president of the, of the United States of America, okay? Anyway, before I talk about this dream, I want to tell you my name's, my name's Alex Shu. I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small finger, string, sleepy, weird to me on age anymore. You become physically immortal. For example, I'm already 53. You can see that I'm still pretty skinny, right? Look, I don't have any belly fat. If you go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, I have lots of testimonials from Amazon customers. Most of them give me four star, five star. You're interested? You want to look like me when you're 53? Live much longer. I'll come. Live much longer. I'll come. Link is at the bottom of this video. Also, I'm looking. I'm giving away free immortality rings. You know, uh, I have an affiliate program on my website that you could you could join. You know, if you put my link code on bulletin boards or on your Facebook page or on your uh, Instagram, when people when 40 people click on the uh, link code, you know, when you give me 40 visitors. I'll give you a free pair of rings. I'll send you a free pair of rings, okay? You could sign up this uh, affiliate program at free.livemuchlonger.com. Free.livemuchlonger.com. Or you could, there's a link at the bottom of this video. You could just click on it, all right? Anyway, this dream, I got this dream long time ago. But hey, wait a minute. It's going to come true because part of it has already came true, all right? I got this dream, I would say, like 20-some years ago. At first, I wouldn't understand it, but gradually, part of it came true. Okay, let's talk about a dream. The dream, the beginning of the dream is this, okay? I mean, I was driving, like, a Ford Mustang. It was like a classic 1969 Ford Mustang or something. I pick up the blonde chick, right? I don't know, it was like, she's like hitchhiking, and I picked her up, and I drove, I drove, and she, she's hot, you know, she's blonde and hot and shit, you know, I drove, and then we went into a, and then the destination is, she got off the car, I went inside a factory, you, you ever watch Terminator 2, The Judgment Day, you know, at the end of a movie, the factory, they ran inside a factory, and it's, it's, the factory is all red, you know, because it's a steel mill, right? It's a steel factory. So it's like the the color of the factory is all red, you know, it's burning burning steel, it's all red, right? And then inside the factory I saw a black man, you know, he's very tall, like wow it's giant black man, you know, must be like six foot five inches tall or something. He's wearing a hoodie, and then he has uh, sunglasses on. And he said to uh, to uh, some some people, right? He said, "So that's it. You just want to destroy China. You want to destroy China. That's that's what you want to do." And then two white men, okay, they all dress in suits. Uh, they're like thirty some year old white men, you know. They say, "Yeah, that's right. That's right. We want to destroy China because because we can." And then suddenly I saw a Chinese emperor, like a skeletal, you know, the face is a skeletal face, a Chinese emperor. He's wearing this, he's wearing this hat. Okay, this this the hat that I had. It's this, he's wearing a Chinese crown like this, right? You know, Chinese, Qing Dynasty Chinese crown like this. Hold on, let me put this back. And he's and then he's wearing a robe, right? Chinese, uh, you know, Qing Dynasty robe. But then it's a skeletal face, and he's uh, lying on the lying on the ground. And then the the scene zoomed out, right? And I saw the entire China's desert. It's just desert sand, and and I saw thousands or even millions of dead people, right? The entire I know it's China. The entire I saw the uh, emperor was a uh, skull right and I saw thousands or even millions of dead people on the on the sand and then scene change again and then the the you know the black guy right he's wearing a hoodie with the sunglasses on he said okay because you guys you guys destroyed China and here is your punishment 
And then those two white guys, they they're like thir they used to be like thirty some year old, and suddenly they grow a beard. They grow a long beard and long mustache, and it's all white, white beard, white white mustache. Both of them, right? That's it. That's the end of the dream. Okay. Interpretation of this dream is this. Because <coughs> I got this dream 20 years ago. That's before I joined this. That's before I went into the strip club. You know, back in the days, I didn't have interest. I'm not, I wasn't interested in strip club. But after I got this dream, I got interested in strip club, right? So I went to the strip club for a long time. I went to the strip club for like, I would say seven, eight, six, seven years. I mean, I was a daily visitor of strip club, you know, with my buddies. We go to strip club like every day, you know, for six or seven years. So beginning of the dream, I was driving a Mustang, a fat, driving a fast car, and I pick up a hitchhiking chick, right? That's like, that's my strip club life. And then I, en I entered a factory, you know, steel mill, you know, steel mill. That, that means, uh, uh, I don't know. It's just economic trouble, you know. It, it means there's uh, trouble with the economy. Because right after I entered a strip club, you know, right after I quit going to strip club, that's 2009, right? That's Obama's era, right? And economy for me wasn't very good after that, you know. I mean, back in the days, I was earning a lot of money when I went to the strip club, you know. Because, uh, I don't know, Kevin Trudeau just introduced my product on this book, and I was earning a lot of money every day, you know. And right after the strip club, after a strip club life, you know, I quit going to strip club in 2009. After that, economy wasn't, I mean, my business wasn't very good. And then, the, the, the black guy with sunglasses and hoodie, that's Obama, right? 2009 Obama era started, right? And then the two white guys, right, he, they said, yeah, we want to destroy China because we can. The two white guys represent Trump and Obama. I mean, Trump and Biden. Trump started the, the, the trade war with China. And then Joe Biden is no better. See, just yesterday, he announced Joe Biden. Just yesterday or two days ago, Joe Biden decided to uh, tax, to collect 100% tariff on cars, on Chinese-made cars. And then he also increased the tariff on, like, solar panels and all that shit, right? Solar panels... Ba uh, lithium battery and all sorts of syringes and medical products and all that. In China, they China say they're going to retaliate, but <clears throat> it just happened like two days ago, you know. So, uh, Trump and uh, Biden are both declaring trade war on China. And then you the the Chinese emperor that I saw, right? That's Xi Jinping. You know why? Because uh, Xi uh, during the uh, during the uh, the COVID era, right? Xi Jinping was known to be Qin Ling Zong, you know? The Chinese citizens call him Qin Ling Zong because what is that? What does Qin Ling Zong mean? Qin Ling Zong means uh, a Qin Dynasty's emperor, okay? Uh, and his code name is Ling, you know? Ling means zero, you know? Because one of his policy is to Dong Tai Qin Ling, it means to uh, get rid of all, all traces of COVID. Get rid of all traces of COVID virus. So it means to uh, clean clean everything until it, it reaches zero. Okay, Dong Tai Qing Ling. That's what it's called. Qing Ling. You know, Qing means to clear. Ling means zero. Right. So a lot of uh, a lot of Chinese citizens gave him a nickname. A nickname. Right. Qing Ling Zong, because in Qing Dynasty. Every emperor, right after they after they die, they'll it's gonna be Qing something, Qing something. Zong Zong means ancestor. Qing is the Qing dynasty. It's same as cleaning. It's the same word for cleaning. Okay, Qing Qing De Zong, Qing Gao Zong. You know, it's all it's all names of emperors. You know, after they die, they they gave them this respectable title. You know, Qing Gao Zong, Qing De Zong, Qing whatever Zong. You know, and. They gave uh, Xi Jinping a, a, a title, Qing Ling Zong, you know? It's it's sarcastic, it's, you know, it's it's a joke, it's sarcastic, you know? He's not dead yet, but then they already gave him a title. That's, that dream fulfilled, okay? Because I saw Qing Dynasty, 
Qing Emperor with that hat I show you, right? That crown I show you with a, uh, a skull, right? And he's wearing a robe, Qing Dynasty robe. He died, and then the the focus zoom out, and I saw millions, or even thousands, or even millions of Chinese people dead, right? That means China's economy is in deep trouble right now. It, well, it is. China's economy is in deep trouble. Actually, everywhere. Over the world, the economy is very bad. Even the United States, San Francisco, L.A., Seattle, you, you go everywhere, all the stores are closed, you know? <clears throat> so Qing Mingzong is Xi Jinping's era, right? He's a, he's a dead Qing, Qing Dynasty Emperor, right? Dead Qing Dynasty Emperor. That, that's his nickname, right? Qing Mingzong, you know? Uh, so that's the reason why in, in the dream I saw a dead Qing Dynasty emperor and then zoom out and oh, I saw millions or even thousands of Chinese people dead, right? On, on the desert. It's like the desert's all yellow, you know, it's yellow sand. It's And then and then the the, the black angel with glasses, uh, sunglasses and hoodie, he said, because you guys destroyed China, here are your punishment. And then the two white guys, 30 some year old, oh, these two white guys, they're all wearing suits, I forgot to say. They're all wearing suits and suit and tie. They look like politician, right? And uh, black guy said, okay, because of these, uh, because of your punishment, uh, you, you guys are, he didn't say what the punishment is, but then he said, here's your punishment. And then they, they grow white beard and white mustache, you know, both of them. Both of these guys, they grow white beard and white mustache. White beard and white mustache means they retire. Means they are history. They're done. So because Biden and Trump, they declare war on China. They, they, uh, they declare it, you know, a trade war on China. They will be done. Means the United States, I think Biden is the last president of the United States. Because... White beard and white mustache means they're done, they're history, you know? And Biden represents the Democrats, right? Trump represents Republican, right? So, so this election doesn't matter who wins, but my other dream tells me Biden's going to win. doesn't matter who wins. United States, you know, it's, it's finished. United States is finished. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a new dynasty. There, in the United States, there's going to be a new country you know, from the United States. I think it's still going to be called the United States, but it's not going to be run on this system anymore. It's not going to be run on this uh, democratic system anymore. It'll probably run on the dictatorship or something, you know. But Biden is the last uh, president, democratic president of the United States. Because, I mean, there's no way out. If both of them grow white beard and white mustache, okay, Biden... Is, is finished. Trump is finished, right? So it doesn't matter who wins this election. They're all finished. You understand? When they're finished, it doesn't mean that oh, someone else is gonna, somebody else is gonna be the president. No, that that's not what it means. Okay, it means Biden is finished. Trump is finished. It means Democrats and Republicans, they're both finished. They're over. You know. So United States, the Democratic of the United States is finished. That's basically what it means. But anyway, hey, I hope you enjoy my show. If you're interested, please subscribe to this channel. We'll talk more. Bye.